pleasure to see you again, Mr. Bingham. Okay. Background still going, still rolling. Jason had written, thank you for smoking, and he had directed Juno. And I could tell that there were all these sort of creative juices waiting to get out. What up in the air, he really created this amazing, complicated story. To know me is to fly with me. This is where I live. The book spoke to me on multiple levels. You know, on one hand, you have a guy who is obsessed with flying and collecting miles, which is very dear to my heart. The miles are the goal. On the other hand, it's also a story about a guy who is not connected to the people around him and kind of applauds that idea. Here's the boat, and here's you. Do you want to be in the boat? Yeah, alone. And is forced to reconcile with the fact that he needs to make connections in his life. We see that through George Clooney's character, Ryan Bingham. Sell me marriage. OK, how about love? There really isn't anyone better than George Clooney. I wrote it with him in mind. I wrote it for his voice. I wrote it for his attitude. George and I have a very similar comedic sensibility. You shouldn't try to make something funny. As long as you come at it straight, it will be funny. Asians, they treasure efficiency, and they got a thing for slip-on shoes, God love them. That's racist. I'm like my mother, I stereotype. It's faster. Ryan Bingham is a very tricky role. No, I don't even think of him that way. He's old. And George came at it perfectly. Call me when you get lonely. Lonely. The most memorable thing about a Jason Reitman film is, is the characters. The heroines are going to be quicker, savvier, more eccentric. I'm supposed to be driving a Grand Cherokee by now. Yep. <laughs> Life can underwhelm you that way. And this film has social relevance. No, it's just humor, but poignancy. On set, Jason is sensitive to the people around him. He's so friendly, and we do joke. There's just a total trust. I just happen to find life funny. Everywhere I look, I see comedy, often where it's inappropriate. You know that moment when you look into somebody's eyes and you can feel them staring into your soul and the whole world goes quiet? Yes. Right, well, I don't. For me, that's the best way to talk about things. If we can open up and laugh about things, we can have an honest conversation. Up in the air, confirmed ideas that I felt burning inside, that it's imperative to find connections in life. And that is right at the soul of what this film is about. Want you to try to help yourself. Up in the air. In theaters everywhere, Friday, December 25th.